I just returned from the 2023 official Utah housing forecast where a statement by one of Utah's prominent market predictors sent a room full of realtors into a frenzy. No doubt, many of the agents who heard his assessment of Utah's real estate market for 2023 will leave the industry. It shouldn't surprise anyone to hear that there will be more pain for homeowners in 2023. But how bad is it going to be? And is there a silver lining? Just so you know, you're watching the short version of the Utah housing market forecast where I'll quickly share what the experts predict for 2023 in Utah. I've also produced an in-depth video using more charts, more data, and etc. for those who want greater insight of why the market's acting the way it is and when it can turn around. Look for that link below. Two of the most respected housing market forecasters, Utah's James Wood and Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, shared their thoughts. Wood said that Utah has one of the strongest economies in the nation and that you don't have a recession when you have a healthy job market. He told us that there will not be a housing bubble in Utah, but that he expects prices to decline in the first and second quarters and then stabilize through the remainder of 2023. He shared this chart showing the average weekly mortgage rates since January 2021 when they were 2.65%. In a few short months, starting January 2022 through October, mortgage rates increased at the fastest rate that we've ever seen. Fortunately, rates are now trending back down, along with property values. Wood believes home prices will be down year over year in 2023. In a few minutes, I'll show James Wood's closing statements that got the room buzzing. Now, what did Lord Shun have to say? He agreed with Mr. Wood on pretty much everything, but said we should see 5.5% mortgage rates. He explained why the market won't crash, showing these numbers. Nationwide, we have a strong job market. Subprime loans are non-existent. We have low inventory and foreclosures rarely happen thanks to record low mortgage rates from a year ago. Feel free to hit pause if you need more time. I'm moving on. Yoon also reiterated my sentiment that when you're buying a home, you should have a long-term view. He pointed out that if you'd purchased a home in 2005, you'd be sitting on sizable equity. Even if you had horrible timing and you purchased a home just before the market crash in 2007 and kept the home, you'd have loads of equity. Yoon also believes that we've seen the worst. The best way to find what's happening in Utah's housing market right now is a correction and not a crash. Buyers got carried away and pushed home values to a point of unaffordability. The sudden increase in mortgage rates put an abrupt stop to what was destined to happen. Prices will stop falling when we hit the point to where home values should have been had prices increased at a normal rate. Though I should clarify, home values in Salt Lake will increase faster than most metros due to Utah's high birth rate and job growth. And it's important to note, Utah is still suffering from a housing shortage. Here's Salt Lake's price appreciation by percentage since 1980. There are some sizable ups and downs even going negative a few times, particularly during the Great Recession. The green arrow shows the significant drop-off that we saw at the end of 2022. We know there'll be further price reductions in 2023, but the Utah housing market will likely stabilize before the end of summer. We've already seen a significant drop in home values. When you add decreasing mortgage rates, homes in Utah are quickly becoming affordable again. Since the year 2000, the median price of a home in Salt Lake is way up. Looking to the far left, the median price of a home in 2000 was about $140,000. In the middle of the chart is the Great Recession. If you had purchased near the peak of the market in 2007, you would have paid approximately $280,000. Even after the large price declines we've recently seen, most recent numbers show home values in Salt Lake Metro at $486,000. This chart shows the median price hitting a record high above $565,000. Note, this is the median sales price for condos, twin and townhomes, and single family properties. For the state of Utah as a whole, the price of a single family home peaked at nearly $600,000 in May of 2020, with homes selling in six days on average at a price of $244 per square foot. There's a massive opportunity to purchase real estate right now and over the next few months. Number one, there are a lot of people that need to sell their home, including home builders, and they're feeling desperate. Number two, there are some creative ways to permanently reduce your monthly house payment right now. If you're waiting for that perfect moment to purchase a home, when you're done watching this video, you'll want to watch How to Time the Market Bottom. You'll find a link to that video below. If mortgage rates hit 5.5%, the market will recover. If rates stay above 6%, it's going to be bad for those looking to sell their homes and for realtors. As promised, here's James Wood's closing statement that terrified many of the real estate agents in attendance. After, I'll explain why he's very wrong about one thing. Here's that clip. It's going to be, uh, you know, just uh, not a, a year of celebration, I don't think, but just hang in there. 
2024 will be better. Just to summarize, no housing bubble, inflation to ease between 5 and 5.5%. Five and Mortgage rates will remain high, 65 to 75 Housing prices will stabilize by the third and fourth quarter. Annual 2023 median price close to annual 2022 price. Residential sales will be sluggish, 12,000 to 13,000 sales for Salt Lake County. And do hang in there. 2024 will be better. So I hope you have good luck, and it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting year. So thank you. I agree. Prices should be down slightly year over year in 2023. And it will be a tough year for those looking to sell their homes, especially in the first and second quarters. Where's Mr. Wood wrong? Mortgage rates will not stay in the 65 to 7.5% range. Barring some unforeseen event, mortgage rates will continue their downward trend. You know, the more I think about it, the more convinced I am that Mr. Wood's prediction on mortgage rates is a typo. <laughs> He's a smart man and something tells me he doesn't believe that. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised to see mortgage rates at 6% before the end of this week. By the end of 2023, worst case scenario, rates stop at 5.5%, but data suggest 5% is more likely. I've gone in depth on why this will happen. If you'd like to know more, check out 5% rates coming soon. I'll also put a link to that video below. A lot of people are skeptical that rates will drop this low, but Lawrence June backs what I've been saying for several weeks. Whatever government borrows, mortgage rate will be only a little bit higher. Two lines move very, very similarly together. But if you were to use a microscope and dive into the data a little further, what you find is the following. This is the spread between the two. Let me go back to the prior graph. See the gap? So I'm trying to measure the gap between the red and the blue. Historical gap is that blue line, 170 basis point. Sometimes the gap is a little larger than the normal, other times a little less. One time that it occurred, a large gap was in 2008 when Lehman Brothers went bankrupt right before the foreclosure crisis. That caused a massive panic in Wall Street. Because of that panic, you see the widespread. The second large panic occurred in March 2020 when COVID arrived. What's going to happen? No one knew. So there was a widespread. Then it disappeared. Now we are in the case of this third abnormal situation. Based on history, it would say this abnormality would disappear within four, five, six months. Maybe by springtime, this abnormality will disappear. If we just get back to just normal spread, today's mortgage rate should be 5.5%. So what do you think is going to happen? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you live in Utah and you like the most accurate and up-to-date real estate news, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to my channel because coming soon, I'm going live every other Thursday to keep you up to date on what's happening right here in Utah. And I'll be sitting down with one of the smartest people I know who has years of experience in the lending industry. Remember, this is the short version of the Utah housing market forecast. To see the full in-depth prediction for Utah's real estate market, click on the link in the description below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll do my best to reply to you. If you have a friend or a family member looking to buy or sell a home in Utah, you can easily text this video to them. And please hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. For breaking news and faster updates, follow me on Instagram at Ty the real estate guy. If this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.